I recall as a kid, uh, so many times, the, the, it seemed like the, the way I learned the best was to go on a field trip. For our student athletes to really be able to grow and learn, we needed to make sure we took those lessons in the classroom and brought them to life. And that's what this is about. And that's why we call it the Big Life Series. And so to be able to come here and understand that five day, 54 mile walk from Selma to Montgomery and Bloody Sunday and all these things that were done by young people, I thought it was a great place to, to start. United! United! There we go, guys. It just feels very, it feels very natural to be around people that, you know, want to know the same information as me and want to gather as much knowledge as me. I mean, as athletes, we really have a part of being something special just as a team. Like just being with a team, being brothers, being sisters, creating a family bond, and you get to do a lot of things that normal people wouldn't do. This is life changing for real. Like when we came, they said it was gonna be like, like that, but now that we experiencing it, like even us just doing this, marching, seeing all the landmarks and stuff, and just seeing the city of Selma, this is life changing. I mean, I hope it changes their life forever. I mean, I hope it stirs their spirit so much that they're not the same. Um, I hope they don't sleep tonight thinking about tomorrow. I hope they don't sleep tomorrow night thinking about yesterday. We put unity in the word community. You have a voice. Use your voice before you lose your voice. The place that you are sitting in right now is a testament, a true testament to the will and the faith of those that came before us. I think that it is so important, particularly for young people across the country, to understand the history of what happened in the 60s, not just in Selma, but in many other places where people had to fight for the rights and even the opportunities in which our young people are taking advantage of. And I just I challenge them. You heard me say it all the time. Someone in that room will be president of the United States. So I think this is the first step to really dream big, to carry it out, to strive to be exceptional.